Greetings. You're seeing my ArcGIS Pro screen. I've loaded a layer already in, which is Rush County, Indiana cemeteries. Those are the green circles that you're seeing here on my map. And what we're going to do is work with notebooks for the first time in ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to go over to the Insert tab and click on it. And you'll see there's one called Notebooks. You actually have a choice of adding a notebook or a new notebook. And we're going to select a new notebook. So we've got a new notebook showing up here. And we only have one line right here right now to enter code. So we're going to do this with importing ArcPy, which we probably do not need to do since we're already inside of ArcGIS Pro. Hit an enter. And I'm going to set the environment. So I'm from ArcPy, I'm going to import um, the environment. And then I'm going to set up what the environment is going to be. So the environment is going to be equal to R quotation mark. And then I need to type in the pathway. Normally I would probably be copying this pathway. Um, it's GIS data. Oops. Indiana counties I in underscore county and it's in the geo database. And if I type that all correctly, I'll put a quotation at the end. So we've set up the pathway and now we're going to do our command and this time we're going to do a buffer command. So it's arcpy. If I press the tab key, it'll give me some choices. I have to put my period first and then press the tab key. It gives me some choices and I want the analysis. There it is. So I can just hit enter, period, press my tab key again. I'm going to do buffer, just use my arrow down. And I am going to put a set of parentheses here. Notice the right and the left parentheses are generated for me. I'm going to put a quotation mark. And where is my data going to come from? It's going to be in underscore rush underscore cemetery, which is what I already have loaded on my map right now. Step outside the quotation mark, put a comma, space, put another quotation mark. Where am I going to send my resulting buffer? It's going to be cemetery underscore buffer. I'm going to step out of my parentheses, comma, and I need to give it what is going to be the radius of my buffer. In this case, I'm going to get one mile. So one miles. And I'm going to step outside of my quotation in parentheses. That's all the code I need. And I'm going to tell it to run. It takes a few seconds here. If I didn't have any typos, there it is. You can see it says the output. It shows me where the output's been placed. It's been placed back in that geo database. But that's the environment that I set up. And you can see it tells you how long it took to run. And to see if it ran correctly, I can go over to my mapping tab. And you can now see, and I'll zoom just in a little bit, the dot, which is where the cemetery is located, in my one mile radius buffer. We didn't tell it to dissolve our buffers, which we could have done in the command. So you can see that there are buffers that lay over top of buffers and so on. So this is very simply how to start a notebook and how to do a very simplistic command inside the notebook.